The brick and mortar base for Duck and Roll Food Truck is right here at Chen's Chinese and Sushi in Wrigleyville. Let's go inside and check out how they make this happen. So our truck serves up Asian-inspired banh mi sandwiches, or banh mi sandwiches. Essentially what we have is uh, a traditional banh mi usually has like pickled uh, vegetables, which can include uh, pickled daikons and carrots, some jalapenos, and some fresh cilantro. I decided to give it a little bit more contemporary spin, and I've uh, created an Asian slaw that has uh, Fuji apples, pickled carrots, mustard greens, um, red and green cabbage, and uh, fresh cilantro, and then we toss it in a vinaigrette, um, olive oil vinaigrette that we make in-house. Here we have our uh, uh, pork belly banh mi. So we slow cook the pork belly for about six hours and it's uh, cooked in a soy reduction with ginger and star anise and cinnamon and a little bit of cumin. So it's a lot of flavor to it. Slow cooked, super tender. Uh, I like to describe um, pork belly as like meat mayonnaise because it's so soft and the fattiness of it when you bite into it, it's like so great. So we make these every morning fresh. I pick up the bread from the bakery bring it over here and then we uh, we uh, make the slaw in the morning and then we cut the bread and then the meats we braise the night before and then we come in and then we uh, heat it up and get the breads going or the, the sandwiches rolled up and they're ready to go. Now how many sandwiches would you say you take on the truck every day? Uh, you know, when it's warmer out, we try to make um, the man, obviously there's a lot more foot traffic out in the streets, so we usually make about 70 sandwiches um, during the warmer months, and as with the winter, I've decided to add more soups on the menu because people are kind of craving something warmer and heartier. So I make less sandwiches, but I add soups to the menu as our specialty. All right, so we're all loaded up. We're ready to roll just like that in the blink of an eye. Let's go feed the masses. We roll. So uh, food trucks in Chicago have to be 200 feet away from um, any establishment that serves drink or food. And so uh, we're right in front of a bank. We're more in a kind of a business district right over here and we're legally parked. So I paid my meter and I'm parked here and we'll be camping out for the next two hours to sell our, uh, our contraband. Jamie Hitch, I come by here and grab the food every chance I get when she comes around. It's got great flavor. Uh, my favorite is the pork belly and probably second best is the short rib and the donuts are a have to try. It's really good, got great flavors and it's a great thing on a cold day. All right, so we've learned a lot about food trucks today. We're gonna let you get back to all your customers. However, before we go, I wanna ask you about, so you're up for an award or you're in some sort of contest. Tell us a little bit about that. Yep, we are up for the food truck rookie of the year from Mobile uh, Cuisine Magazine. So. Uh, Voting started yesterday, so everybody get out and do the Chicago way. Vote early and vote often. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're, we're super psyched about it. We're the only Chicago food truck on that list of uh, 15 finalists. So if you go to the Mobile Cuisine website and you can go there to vote. Um, or you can find us on Twitter, um, Facebook, or our website to find out any information um, about the truck, where we're located, and um, all the great stuff that you can find out about where Duck and Roll is going to be rolling up next to. <laughs> I like that. A little play on words. Cool. Well, thank you so much for letting us hang out today. Hey, right, cool. Awesome. You guys got to check out Duck and Roll. It is awesome.